my name is Ishan Chada, and I'm a freshman at the Wheeler Center for Advanced Studies. Today I'd like to tell you about how STEM has not only impacted my future, but the futures of many others around me. I'd like to portray this effect to you by first telling you a short anecdote, and then taking you on a journey through me the many modern wonders of science and technology. To start off my anecdote, I was half asleep in biology, and then this concept that the teacher was explaining really hooked on to me about the polarity of molecules. So, I used to have a friend a very long time ago who had a dysfunctional organ and who had to constantly get MRI scans. So, MRI scans work off of magnetic resonance imaging. So, basically, magnets detect dissimilarities in your organs. So, I would always ask her, how do these magnets detect anything in your body if you're not like Iron Man, you know, made of metal? And so, she would just say, I don't know, because we were third graders and we didn't really know much about magnets. So then, I realized that the polarity of these molecules um, and the alignment of how they form is really how the magnets detect you in magnetic resonance imaging. So I wanted to conduct further studies in this field, but the problem was that for this I would have to know the physics of vectorial alignment, the geometry of trigonometric functions that brain waves make, and the statistical patterns that these brain waves make in order, in order to match them with certain emotions. And so this was really just a bunch of gibberish to me. So how was I to comprehend this gibberish? Well, this is where the STEM program came in. The STEM program allowed me to focus a lot of my energy into a certain field, which other programs don't really allow you to do because they just want you to gain a broad understanding and wait till you're much, much older for you to actually choose a field in which you can delve into. Well, the STEM program really allowed me to go further into this field, and this is, the, this is the discovery I've made, and this is the journey I'd like to take you all on. So, I realized that if you match brain patterns with certain emotions, you can, you can basically realize how emotions kind of formulate in your mind. And so, essentially, if you map all of these out, you can basically see what a person is thinking just by seeing just by an MRI scan. So imagine a director thinking up an idea for a movie and just by thinking it, him being able to transfer it onto the screen just by thinking it. Now, take these brain patterns and input them into one of the modern self-learning computers and you have just created the first AI because these computers can learn off of themselves. So a computer that can learn off of emotions that you've already put into them can just make more emotions. And artificial intelligence it is. Thank you for your time.